Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel. This week's video is going to be short and sweet. It is so short, in fact, that I am also adding a grocery haul. And to get started, we're going to look at what we got from the store and then we'll get to cooking. First, we're going to start off here in the front in the cheese section. So we have a pack of sliced sharp cheddar, a couple bags of shredded cheese. We have mozzarella and again, sharp cheddar. We have a bag of shredded lettuce and we have a bag of hash browns, um, a pack of sliced cheese, a roll of sausage, some smoked sausage, a carton of eggs, some blueberries, and also a container of ricotta cheese and sour cream. We have a bag of pizza rolls. We go through a lot of these. I just bought a pack of 100 last week, but here we are again. Summer vacation. We have a couple of other little frozen meals, just the easy stuff, some frozen pizzas, frozen burritos. I feel like I buy these every week, but they are a favorite in our house. We like this spicy red hot. A couple of packages of hamburger buns, a couple um, bread, some strawberry jam, some horseradish, multivitamins, red pepper flakes, a couple bags of chicken tenders, and some coffee, a big pack of ground beef, some salami, and that is going to do it. So now let's get cooking. So it's my first day back to work and I wanted to keep it super easy and to me tacos are super easy. And I just um, cooked up the meat and set out some toppings and I had an avocado chunked up with mine and that was our super easy first dinner of the week. And then the next one is just burgers that we made in the house in a frying pan. Um, and I just made up some burger sauce using some mayo, some ketchup, some Worcestershire sauce, and some pickle relish. And so all I did was mix those ingredients together. There are so many different versions of this um, burger sauce out there. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> and this is just what... I had on hand and in the middle of my chaotic mess this was just how it turned out for us and it was good no complaints at all so this is super easy um, like I said you just mix it all together and it kind of turns out like a thousand island dressing so obviously if you had thousand island dressing you could also use that if you wanted to and we're just using this slight sliced sharp cheddar cheese on our burgers and I think that it really went well with the burger sauce that we were using so here I'm just getting my burgers assembled by spreading some of that sauce on the bottom bun and also on the top just really wanted it to be loaded up with that sauciness and then I just laid my burger patty right on there I kept it very simple that's all that I put on my burger for this night and then I just decided to have some sliced tomatoes on the side and it was here that I decided I would like to have two burgers since I was just only having sliced tomatoes as a side dish. For dinner the next night, it was more of a fend for yourself type of night. I was very tired every single day when I came home from work. And so on this night, I just made a frozen pizza and had some cottage cheese with jalapenos. been a rough day at work and I'm so happy to be home but now it's time to get all of this put together into a meal and that's what I'm doing now it's going to be a hash brown sausage cheesy broccoli casserole
I started off by getting my potatoes in a greased casserole dish and started seasoning them up with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I quickly realized that I needed to change into a bigger pan and before I added the other ingredients. Once I had my broccoli, potatoes, and sausage in the pan, then I began adding the cream of chicken soup. I'm using two cans here. Oh yeah, the sour cream, hang on. All right, almost forgot the sour cream. I just have half a container here that I'm gonna throw in there. Last but not least, I just covered this casserole with some shredded cheese and then put it in the oven on 375 for 30 minutes. And here's how it looked when it was ready to come out of the oven and then dished up on a plate, the perfect one dish meal. I can't tell you how many times pizza has come to my rescue. The next night I just got some potatoes out of my fridge and cooked up some fried potatoes and onions and Bill grilled steaks on the grill. We also had some corn with just some butter, salt, and pepper to go with it. And the last dinner of the week, I'm just cooking up some ground beef and some sausage. After I got that all cooked up and drained, I used the same pan and cooked up a box of ziti. And then I just um, got another pan going for some angel hair pasta because I wanted to make pasta two ways. So we're doing one with um, like a marinara sauce. And to get that one going, I'm just mixing all of that meat back in with the pasta. And then I will just come back in with um, a container of ricotta cheese. You could use cottage cheese, you could use cream cheese, whatever you like for this dish. But we are using ricotta. And I'm just taking a knife and chopping it up into workable pieces. And it will melt down in this hot um, meat and pasta mixture. Then I'm just using using a jar of ragu and just working it in there. I can't believe my pot is, my pan is so small. This is a huge pan, but I just keep on working with it, trying not to make a gigantic mess. I just made a little mess, but not gigantic. Anyway, just working that in until it's all mixed together. If 
if I was making this dish in the fall or winter months, then I would just top it with cheese and then put it in the oven. But since it's summer, that's going to be a no for me as far as turning on the oven. So we're just popping a lid on and letting it. In another pan, I am melting down some butter. I am following an Alfredo recipe and I um, am going to add it to my angel hair pasta. I'm using a recipe that I found on Pinterest. I will link it in the description box. Um, this was not a favorite for myself, but the kids did like it. I didn't follow it exactly, of course, and then maybe that is why it wasn't as good to me, but it wasn't bad. Um, anyway, I just um, melted my butter and then added the flour. Like I said, I am doubling this recipe because I made too much pasta, of course. But um, all I'm doing is mixing that butter and flour, getting it um, all stirred together and getting the lumps out. My only complaint about this um, Alfredo sauce was that it was too cheesy and too thick, but look, it's probably my fault. <laughs> I did uh, thin it down quite a bit with some cream, but it still seemed to just keep thickening up on me. But anyway, the kids really liked it, and uh, I guess that's all that matters. I did end up adding some black pepper, of course, and I used more garlic powder than what the recipe called for because for whatever reason, it just didn't have the flavor that I kind of associate with Alfredo sauce. But after a little while of working with it, I got it to the consistency that I wanted and then I just added my cooked angel hair pasta right into the sauce. and. Then it was ready to serve up along with the ziti in the other pan and I made up a box of Texas toast garlic bread and here was dinner on that night. This is our last dinner of the week so I'm going to wrap it up. I thank everyone who came by to watch my video um, and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully it will be more put together as every week keeps getting better and better but I'm still adjusting to being a working mama and healing from surgery. <laughs>